there was a box of transistors and other electronics parts. And from there, I was always just taking apart old, you know, phones, computers, printers, whatever I could get my hands on. And then I would take my hot glue gun and just whatever garbage and random pieces from around the house and piece together my first inventions, which didn't work. But it was kind of just the idea of creation that was so exciting to me. Um, so basically, I'm half Filipino, and one of my friends in the Philippines, she wrote to me one day, and she told me that she had failed her grade in school because she couldn't afford electricity, so she had no light to study with at night. And basically, I was shocked as like a 13, 14 year old, being like, "Oh, she's just like me, but she doesn't have something as simple as light," which I totally took for granted growing up on Vancouver Island. Uh, so I decided to base my science fair project around her problem and create a light source that wouldn't require any batteries. Yeah, so a couple years ago I was working on a line of children's toys that run off green energy. I had to leave that behind due to some ill business decisions. Uh, but right now I'm working on a book. I'm writing my first book. I have my first publishing deal um, and I'm writing a, a book about the inventing mindset which is about how we're all innately inventors kind of We've evolved to solve our own problems. We just don't always think of ourselves as inventors. So it's kind of to help the reader reinvoke the idea of invention in their own life. Uh, so I'm doing that. I'm also developing and pitching a TV show that I really want to host about futurism, which is how past art, especially film and TV, have predicted and influenced current science and technology. Uh, and I'm also finishing my degree in English literature by December. I feel so lucky to have been invited by Seta, who organized Femino, uh, to come speak here. Um, it's truly just phenomenal that she's bringing together so many young women from around Armenia and around the world uh, together to really inspire innovation and leadership amongst them. Um, and I think it's really important that really young girls conceive role models of maybe someone that they aspire to be like. Uh, so Femino is a great place for that and for networking as well. Um, if you are a lady that is into STEAM, which is science, technology, engineering, arts and math, I think Femino will bring together so many young women with like interests in science um, and make them realize that they're not alone, that there's other cool girls working on technology and science. Uh, and hopefully it'll also help break down stereotypes um, of women in science because typically we only see images of them, you know, on screen and film and TV, like the Big Bang Theory. So to have, bring together real young women that are into science and show them as real, amazing, normal human beings, I think that's just a wonderful gift that Seda has given us. Uh, I've been really impressed with what I have seen of Armenia so far. I mean, I've only been here a couple days, but uh, they brought us around to the Tumo area for children and teenagers. And truly, I was like, wow, I wish I had this like after school program as a kid because I would have loved it. Uh, it was so, I was so impressed, and the rest of the speakers that toured with me, we were all so blown away by what Tumo had put together for these teenagers, and they were all so excited about technology and science and coding and music and everything, so that was really inspiring. We also got to see, I believe, the Philip Morris Institute for Research and Development, um, and that was also really incredible to see the resources that they've made available for young entrepreneurs and scientists that want to conduct research or studies and don't necessarily have the resources to do so on their own. Um, so yeah, I'm really impressed by everything that's coming out of Armenia and I'm really also excited that a lot of young people that I've met here want to stay in Armenia uh, and make it an even greater country. So I'm excited for all of that.